Hello and welcome to Nerdy Unreal Dev. And today we're looking at making weather effects, well, mainly precipitation, using not Niagara, but actually using materials on planes. Uh, these planes are a bit squished, making it uh, look more like rain, but you can make all sorts of effects. In fact, in the Infinity uh, Blade Icelands pack, you had that's what they did for snow. They popped a material onto planes, and now I'm going to show you how to do the same. So first thing we're actually going to do is pop into a t 2D program called Krita, um, and uh, and this is in order to make the image that will be the main texture. I have one already made. Just so you know, uh, Krita is open source, so free to use. And when you make a new document, in the predefined, it also it has various textures. Uh, you can also make your own, so I have my own predefined bit for Redbubble. But I need to change the color model for that. And so you can set it to whatever you need hit create, um, and Krita also has a feature called wraparound mode, which if you go into configure Krita shortcuts, wraparound mode, uh, default it's not set to anything, I tend to set it to W, and then you hit W, it fills the whole page, and just scribble a little, perfectly tileable textures. So this is great for anyone who does hand painted textures. So got this. I basically what I did there is I have a sort of light blue. You can also do white for more snow. Made little dots with the airbrush so it had the soft edges though you can use any brush you want any sort of designs you want, and then hit unlock, got rid of the background, and then it's an alpha. Just use this one, so file, export, that's just there. Has all sorts of options for exporting, but what we want is PNG. Uh, Targa would also work, basically anything for um, that allows you to show the alpha layer. So we're just going to call this T and precipitation. Let's see some of the games I play. And we're going to hit OK. And now we're going to switch back. And I tend to right click, import from there. And now you have your texture file, it'll ask you to save, you can see it in the view with the sort of darker checkerboard. And then, right click again in the content browser, material, and I'm going to call this M precipitation. So, now we're going to have a little fun here. We're going to change this to, uh, this remains a surface, but instead of opaque, we're going to switch it to translucent. Uh, this allows the alpha. And now we're going to reduce that so it's not full screen. Drag in our texture. Pop this sucker into base color, but we're not done. We're also going to right click in this little checkerboard, type multiply or MUL, and then you'll see under math, multiply, and pop a node there, pop a node there. This is for emissive color. This create lets a little glow, and um, you have two options. 
you can either just change the value here or sorry change the value here or you can have a separate uh, constant node how I got this again con you have constant constant two vector and constant three vector uh, constant three vector generally has like an RGB value so and you can change that um, for the other one I had it at 0.5 but really for whatever you need and we're gonna stick the alpha into opacity yet it's still not moving and the reason it's not moving is because we need two more nodes so we need texture coordinates which do 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 well we also need the panner which you're going to drag into UVs and texture sample why is this not showing up? Sorry about this. This is what happens when you could have sworn this thing was there, but it's not. There we go. Under coordinates is texture coordinates. That makes logical sense. All right, so we're gonna pop this into coordinates. And then, what one thing we definitely need to make sure we do in Panner is right now it's still still. That's because it needs a little bit of speed. That's a little fast. Also the wrong direction. So try point five. Now this is still going up, so what we actually want is negative 0.5. And this is great for a fast moving thing, uh, you can also uh, make it move slower for a nice gentle snowfall. Okay, that's a little too gentle. <laughs> But you get the picture. There we go. So we'll just bring this to 0.3. Not too fast moving, not too slow moving. Hit save. And then, I'm gonna make these invisible. This is just a scene I was working on. Haha! -ha. I missed two in that folder. Fun fact, kids. You definitely want to organize. Otherwise, you have this sort of mess. <laughs> Alright. Plane. Pop it 90 degrees. And I tend to increase size. And there you go. And you can change, of course, change the size of the plane. Snowflakes are not that big. I've lost my plane. But that's a <laughs> uh, game dev where you lose planes. But we can also pop it onto these ones. And because they're squished, it looks like there's. But yeah, you can adjust as needed, size wise, all that fun stuff. So, thank you for watching. Have a good one. Hello, and thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, uh, consider supporting me at my coffee even following me there. I also have an art station page where I have a few prints as well as a store with 3D assets. 
And I also have a red bubble with various designs ranging from more abstract, cartoony, and various queer flag related designs. Links in the description below. Thanks for watching.